it is generally not because we want to be awkward. It's just that we think that things are awkward. You know, it's like mm. it's, it, things are a bit messy. Yeah. And um, so we just want to just respond to that and, and, uh, and work with that. comes to trying to provide some access or some lead into the work you do I, I do find it's difficult to say well this work is just about this and that works just about that this space is just about this one thing because it's not the work is always cross-referencing itself with other pieces and um, and that's why I think the, the work generally look, always looks better when it's not just a standalone they exist in other things to kind of throw themselves Two years ago, or three years ago, we'd done a residency in, in, uh, in Korea at Samsung Contemporary Art Space. The, the, the work was just kind of, it was just kind of absolute chaos, actually. It was just chaos, wasn't it? And everything yeah. was just, there was so much stuff that was just coming out. We invented this institute, which we called the Institute of Beasts, just literally as a way of trying to house some of the strategies that we were developing. So we had a department of love or the department of, of, of you know ridiculous things like the department yeah. of monkey nuts and the department of facets and 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 then that and that kind of go, okay, went on and on and on and and we and we also realized that, that part of that process was was um as a kind of response to what we felt was this kind of over emphasis on taxonomies and the way things are kind of organized in knowledge and in culture and we sort of didn't feel like that as human beings, we felt that things were much more messy. Because PSL is broken into these six separate spaces, mm -hmm. if you like, I suppose we were thinking about, well, let's house some of the departments, one in each space. Inevitably, what happens then, just in the spirit of perversity, is that we, the departments fell apart. The departments fall apart because the, because the spirit of the enterprise is to make the departments fall apart. So it's a very contradictory um, kind of project in a way. A lot of the work, it's, it's, it's kind of material that we find around us and we, and we try and kind of use in some way. And this was the, it's actually a text from a, an email, a spam email, selling, um, trying, to sell, trying to sell me Viagra. We call this actually a piece of work, we call it impotency. It's all about impotency. But actually the font itself is controversial because it's um, a font which is called Fet Fracture. And I don't want to talk about that, but, mm, but, the, yeah. but that's, the, that's a font which um, was widely used by the Nazi party during the Second World War. And what we were interested in here was this kind of this tension between impotency and something which was trying to be extremely powerful. So I think, I think quite a lot of the work has these kind of backstories to it, but we didn't want to get too. We don't. We don't want to get too tied up with those those backstories. But for example, the the sound, you know, the birds, the, the hearing the birds tweeting and all that. That's that's. Um, it's a script of the Exorcist read through really really quick by a computer voice and then speeded up really really fast, so it sounds like little little birds twittering. <coughs> What's happened in this uh, this this um, bit of the project is that we've we've found ourselves working with quite a number of people um, um, with various different elements of the of the of the work, and that's something that's been really fruitful. And um, I think that's probably something that we would want to explore next, so that the institute becomes the Institute of Beasts possibly becomes. Um, a, a, a broader um, a broader thing really perhaps even more nebulous <laughs>